start even assuming that the arbitration process involved highly technical and complex issues which was time consuming even then it was open for the arbitrator or for the parties to approach the court for extension of time to conclude the arbitration proceeding which was not done either by the arbitrator or by any of the parties as correctly noted by high court in its impugned judgment there was no cogent reason for the delay in making and publishing the award by the arbitrator he already had the relevant materials at his disposal and could base his findings on the observations made by the three arbitrators who were appointed prior to him it has been correctly observed by the high court that the arbitrator had become functus officio in the absence of extension of time beyond 30th of september 2005 to make and publish the award after the said date the arbitrator had no authority to continue with the arbitration proceedings the learned counsel appearing on behalf of the appellant argued that in the absence of any statutory period prescribed under the act for rendering an award the direction of the court to conclude the arbitration proceedings within the time prescribed by it would not make an award passed beyond the time so prescribed null and void he further argued that the high court was wrong in not extending the time fixed by it in the order for early conclusion of the arbitration proceedings and terminating the mandate of the arbitrator when neither the act nor the arbitration agreement prescribed any time for making and publishing the award so far as this decision is concerned we may keep it on record that this decision was rendered under the arbitration act of 1940 and not under the present act with which we are only concerned in view of our reasoning given here in after and in view of the facts involved in this case we do not find any ground to rely on this decision of this court for the purpose of this case we have carefully gone through para 8 of the decision relied on by the learned counsel for the appellants we may not forget that we are concerned in this case with the arbitration act 1894 without going into the details of this decision we may simply say that this decision cannot have any direct application the principles laid down in the said decision cannot have any application in the present case although the decision rendered in this case in the decision 
अंडर द आर्बिट्रेशन एंड कंसिलियशन एक्ट 1996, टेकिंग इन टू कंसिडरेशन द आर्ग्यूमेंट्स ऑफ द अपीलांट इट इज नेसेसरी टू मैंशन हियर दैट द कोर्ट डज नॉट हैव एनी पावर टू एक्सटेंड द टाइम अंडर द एक्ट अनलाइक सेक्शन 28 ऑफ द 1940 एक्ट विच हैड सच ए प्रोविजन द कोर्ट हैज देयर फोर बीन डेन्यूडेड ऑफ द पावर टू इन लार्ज टाइम फॉर मेकिंग एंड पब्लिसिंग एन अवॉर्ड स्टॉप